When applying a dynamic simulation to a cloth using micropoly, you might notice sometimes you get stretch, uh, like stretchiness in your cloth. So how to remove that stretchiness or how to remove stretchiness from your cloth and make it all even? So let's see how we can do that in this like tutorial. So first of all, let me go here and append a new uh primitive here let's me append a plane and then i will take this up oops and then i will rotate it again i can scale it and Move it here. Now, if I go back here to my geometry and I will turn on my dynamic subdivision on it, and also I will turn on the micro poly on it in order to see if everything is fine here. So I will choose maybe the simple and you can see everything looks good. Okay, so let me scale it in this direction so it don't get stretched. Okay, because the original value is a little different than the original uh, polygon, it's a little different. And what else I can do here is that let me turn off this and this one as well. I can simply uh, to make it narrower. I can go to BDZ, uh, BZM, my poly model tool. Okay. And I can just simply select these from here okay and then I can delete these okay and then I can go back here uh, and I will delete this island here same thing I will do here alt Select these okay. Oops. Spacebar to delete this. I have to press spacebar here and single poly or whatever poly is selected here. It will delete now spacebar again and island and click here delete this now I'll go back to my regular brushes because I'm done with this part now I can turn on my subdivision turn this off and I can turn on sorry dynamic subdivision turn on the micro poly now you can see that it's not stretched so now if I will move this okay and let me do one thing. Let me take the dynamics, I'll push it here. And uh, what I will do here is that I will just use the inflate here a bit with a less amount because uh, inflate actually gives me a little bit thickness when it falls on a surface. Between that surface and between the like the object, like like the cloth that I have. Now I will turn on my run simulation. Okay, and you can see that it is. I have to turn on the collision volume. Now I have turned it on. Stop here. Okay, so that I can create a mask. think 
just draw a mask here. Okay, I think inflate is too high, but for for now it's fine. So inflate is one right now. Maybe you can reduce it. Now I've learned it. And you will notice that it is stretching. Okay, so you can see that everything is stretching. So this is the issue that most of you might face. So how to avoid this? Let me undo this. Now to avoid this issue, simple, the first thing that the best thing or the preferred method is go to the morph target, store the, uh, the morph target here. Once it is stored, now you can go back here, it runs simulation. As soon as it touch, I will just remove this. Uh, I will just go here, uh, create a mask. So this part will, should not move. Okay, and run the simulation again. Now, as you know, I have stored the morph target. So it is not letting uh, the dynamic or uh, like simulation to change that uh, target which is stored. It will keep it as it is. So now you can see that there is no stretchiness here. Everything is normal here. A bit here but you know that's uh, common but just notice how it was before and how it is now so this is one preferred method to avoid any sort of stretchiness and that you can do with the store of uh, morph like store morph target now other way is that uh, what you can do is that you can increase your simulation iterator uh, like iterations here so you can increase that to maybe something higher and that also will change uh, like you know uh, solve this issue so let's do that let me delete the mock target here and increase it a little, little bit but it will make my computer a little slower but let's see how slow it, it can make it and how less stretchy it can make it here so you can see that it's quite uh like better than before but it has become little slower i can increase it more to get more perfect result as much you will increase it you will get more and more perfect result here it is still stretching here but you know if you will increase uh, the iteration more so you will get less uh, stretchiness here so this is the two preferred methods to avoid any sort of stretchiness okay because uh, your poly mesh uh, here is helping you to show how, uh, is it stretching or not and this is a uh, two preferred method storing the morph target or in, uh, increasing your simulation iteration. So I hope uh, this is clear now how you can avoid these kind of issues in, uh, when you're using the dynamic subdivision. So if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account if you're using Facebook or YouTube if you have your own channel or Twitter. So this will help me to get more subscriber which will motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.